Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. My first live video. The first time I've done a live video. And uh, it just occurred to me, I'm sitting out here in uh, the parking lot of the Home Goods and Hobby Lobby here in Brunswick, Georgia, waiting on my wife to stop shopping. I made a mistake of going next door to the Academy Outdoors. Whoever, that's pretty smart. Whoever built this Hobby Lobby and came up with the idea of putting an Academy next door, that's genius because, you know, the women's in here shopping at Home Goods and over there at the Academy. Well, anyway, Tammy's got the keys. So I decided to go over to Academy and I decided to buy this chair. Very nice director's fishing chair for my dad for Christmas. And don't worry, he's not going to find out because he doesn't watch my videos. He doesn't do uh, he doesn't do the internet or Wi-Fi. He's old school. But anyway, uh, Tammy has my keys. So I went and I bought this chair and then I started thinking, I don't want to go walking through Home Goods with all this crap and uh, trying to find her. And so I came out to the car and then I couldn't get in the car because she has the keys. And I thought, well, I got this nice chair, this director's fishing chair. So why not have a seat in the parking lot and just relax on this nice day out here in the parking lot. So um, waiting on her. Uh, this is the second event we have had with the keys being lost. Um, last time I took her to her uh, to a doctor here in Brunswick, and I was going to go again to a fishing store. I went to West Marine, and we were in this car. That is our car, and so she had the keys in her pocket. And apparently, on the push button push button start cars, when you leave. Um, It'll just keep running if you don't have the keys in the car. If you just drop somebody off and drive off to like a place like West Moraine, and then when you cut the uh, car off, then you're stuck and you don't have keys, and you're two miles away from where you dropped your wife off, then you have to walk. And so the last time I was in Brunswick, I had to walk two miles. Hey, how you doing? Fun. Yeah, I'm just doing a little live video here. <laughs> um, but anyway. I had to walk two miles back to her doctor's office so I could get the keys and then walk two miles back so I could start the car so that I could pick her up from the doctor's office. So uh, anyway, it's two times in a row with the keys in Brunswick. Something weird has happened. So uh, if you guys are watching the first live video, you'll find out why I don't do live videos, why my videos are heavily edited. When I do a video, it is edited like crazy. Tammy likes to do live videos. She's a lot better at them than I am. Uh, who we got on here today? I can't see if we got any comments. No comments yet. That's good. That means I have described everything uh, thoroughly so you don't have any questions on why I'm out here in the parking lot. Uh, but we got plenty of time to kill. Plenty of time to kill. I guess I'll tell you a couple of stories here recently. Um, Sally is here. Hey, Sally, how you doing? Uh, and I've had several people ask me what I'm doing while I'm out here. I feel like it should be like... Has it really uh, been that long? It's been, a, um, it's been so long I had time to go buy a chair, bring it back <laughs> out here, sit down. Can we bring you a Start it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I appreciate it, though. She'll come out sometime or another. She, the car's right here. She's got to come back to here. Uh, but anyway, that just totally threw me off. I have no, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, but anyway, what was I talking about? It does help me out. People from Conyers here. Oh, I feel like this should be like an event. Like, hey, everybody come down to Home Goods out here in the parking lot. We're having a live event with Nichols Retirement Empire. Bring the kids, bring, you know, we're gonna have hot dogs and cook out on the grill, but nah. Not that exciting, just a guy in a chair in a parking lot. My dad, I was saying how my dad's old school. Um, I was up last week and I took him to the doctor. And uh, so we go in and my mom and my sister were out of town. They usually go to the doctor with him. 
And they said, uh, you need to go in to hear what the doctor has to say because he said Sur uh, surgery on his shoulder. And I was like, well, they won't let me in. When I went in, you know, they won't let you go in for COVID. And so I'm like, well, what am I going to do? So I called my sister. I said, what am I supposed to do? They won't let me go in the doctor's office. And she said, well, give him, you know, just tell him to take his phone and turn it on, you know, and put it on speaker. That way you can hear the doctor. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. So I went back in. And I called my dad over and I said, hey, have you got your phone? No. Where's your phone? It's in your truck. He keeps it, like, put away in the, in, in the power off so that he doesn't, uh, he don't run out the battery. But anyway, so I went back out to the truck, got the phone, brought it back to him. He has a phone that is so old. Uh, it's those little square ones that used to be about that big. And they have all the buttons on them and they don't have a screen and all that crap. And so I brought the phone in and I handed it to him. I said, okay, now what you need to do is call me when the doctor comes in there. And he goes, well, I don't know your number. Okay, well, let me write down, <laughs> write down my number. <laughs> so I wrote down my number and the nurse is over there helping him. And, and so I hand her the phone and she goes, okay, now let's practice to see if we can call him. And then she looks at the phone and she has, she don't even have any earthly idea which button to push to start. And she said, well, is it on? And he said, uh, I don't know. <laughs> she said, well, let's find the power. We need to turn on the power of the phone. And he's like, oh, I don't know. I'm old school. <laughs> he's so old school. <laughs> he don't even know how to use the old ancient phone he's got that probably nobody in the world knows how to work anymore. So uh, anyway, she just said, well, don't worry about it. Go on back out to the car and we'll get him. We'll help him. And so uh, eventually when the doctor came in, he just turned the phone on. Well, he called me. He never figured out how to put it on speaker. He just had to hold the phone out, you know, like that while the doctor was talking real loud. So uh, that's how that worked out. But yeah, he's old school. So anyway, I got him this chair for, uh, for Christmas. And let's see, I could get a second key fob. That is a fantastic idea. We do have one. We sure do. Um, you know what messed me up is since it's her key fob, she has all this crap on it. Um, I mean, it looks, it's this big gigantic wad of stuff. It's not keys. It's just crap that is on it. Big, you know, so I don't like putting it in my pocket. And, uh, you know, when you get older, it's kind of hard to keep your shorts on anyway, keep them from falling down. So when you put a, that big gigantic huge key with all that crap on it in your shorts, you can't. You know, and a phone, like this phone, it's heavy, and, you know, my wallet got all, you know, my wallet's just got so much money in it that I can't, you know. So, uh, I don't like putting that in my pockets with the other stuff. So, I always hand it to her and say, put this in your purse. And uh, I wish I hadn't have done that now. I wish I would have put it in my pocket and not said, here, put this in your purse. Now, of course, I could... I could go in there and track her down and haul this chair. And this is a pretty big chair. See if I can show y'all the, the chair. That person just looked at me like I was had lost my mind because I'm videoing this chair out in the parking lot. But anyway, uh, I don't want to haul this chair around in the home goods. It's crowded in there. So that's where I'm at. That's where we're at right now. That's where we, that's where things stand here. In the parking lot with Nichols Retirement Empire. Y'all bring the kids down and come on down and let's just, you know, have a good time. Uh, let's see. I can't believe this is my first live video. I was hoping my first live video would be something cool like, you know, like hers is always her cooking. So I could have done a live video with me cooking. I could have done a live video fishing. I've been watching a guy on YouTube. He does live fishing videos. It is so awesome. And it's catfishing. So he's just sitting there in his boat with the poles. And you just sit there like there's no casting. The poles just sit there and you just sit there and watch them to see if he catches a catfish. It is the most ingenious, awesome fishing channel I have ever seen. I could sit there and watch it for hours because it's just like me fishing. I'm just sitting there relaxing watching the poles, see if he catches a fish. So I was hoping 
maybe my first live video might be something cool like that. But no, mine's in a parking lot because I can't get in the car. If I had my uh, truck, I have a hidden key. A hidden key. I'm not going to tell you where it's at. I have no hidden key on her car. It's very nice out here today. It's like 70 degrees. It's perfect. It's a perfect day. Overcast. I'm not going to get sunburn on my head out here. I don't need a hat. This is just fantastic. This is one of the greatest things. It's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And this chair is spectacular. This chair is the best folding chair I have ever sat in in my life. It is very sturdy, very comfortable. I can't recommend enough. This is about to become a commercial for the Magellan Folding Directors Fishing Chair. If you have not bought a Magellan Directors Folding Fishing Chair, I can't recommend it enough. Now, I'm not getting a kickback. I'm not getting any money. I'm not being, um, you know, this is not a paid endorsement. Uh, this is just me telling you I'm, I get nothing. Uh, I cannot recommend this chair enough. This is better than my recliner. Plus, I'm outside. All right, sometimes I just go sit in the yard. I just go sit. <laughs> I literally, really, I, get, I have a chair. It's not as nice as this chair. But it's a folding chair, and I just go out there, and I unfold it, and I just sit out there. And... Uh, Watch the squirrels and the birds. It's usually not in a parking lot with people going by and asking me questions. I've had at least six people ask me why I'm sitting out here or what I'm doing. Or I've had, you know what, this may start a trend. You may start going down to your local store and just seeing men in chairs just sitting out in the parking lot, you know, with hats on, a cooler. You know, they could have a cooler sitting out here. Um, it could be like, it could be like a football game. And where you just, uh, it's just like, uh, what do you call that? Tailgating. It could be like tailgating. Uh, all the local shopping, outdoor shopping malls like this, you know, just be men all over the place sitting out here tailgating. That's what should be happening. Yeah, I think I'm going to start a trend with this for sure. But... This would be a great time if you have any questions that are not key related. If you have a question about tanning that you felt like you couldn't ask before, um, this would be a great time to ask it. Oh, I'll tell y'all something that was funny that she did the other day. I really enjoyed this. We were watching a commercial and uh, I, was, I wasn't paying attention to it. I was looking at my computer and she said, well, that's different. I said, what? She goes, that chicken commercial. I said, Punk, what about it? She goes, it said on that chicken commercial that the chickens are humanly raised. And she said, well, how else would they be raised? Of course they're humanly raised. I mean, they're going to have robots raise the chickens or something? And uh, I said, what are you talking about? And she said, it said on that commercial they're humanly raised. And I kind of thought about it a second, and I said, Tammy, that wasn't humanly, that was humanely. They're humanely raised. <laughs> she started laughing. She said, oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Humanely raised. And I was thinking that she really kind of had me, I, I didn't understand how they could be. But anyway, we just laughed. We just had a good time. It was so funny. Um, and we just do that. We just laugh. You know, she has a hard time thinking of her words a lot of times because from her life. When she had her radiation and chemo and all that, she says she has chemo brain. And, uh, and she does get her words mixed up. If you were watching her live video the other day, some people were asking about the, uh, she's got a new mixer. And it's not a KitchenAid. And somebody was asking her if they liked her mixer better than the KitchenAid. And she said, yeah, it's, it's really powerful and it's really light. She goes, it's like 800, you know, like horsepower or something. And I'm like, <laughs> hey man, because now I'm stuck. Do I correct her on live video, or do I just let that go? Because if I let it go, then people are going to come on later and go, it's not 800 horsepower, you're so stupid. It's, you know. So I didn't want that to happen. 
So I said, no, Tammy, it's 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 800 watts. I said, 800 horsepower would be like, you know, a NASCAR, <laughs> a jet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about it either. But I know it's not 800 horsepower. I know it's 800 watts. So anyway, and we just laughed and had a good time. You know, that's what we do. We just laugh and have a good time. How come we changed her video so much to see how much? Uh, well, the longer that we do videos, the better we get at videoing, the better we get at editing and stuff like that. Our videos start to look more professional. We don't do as many live ones anymore like we used to do. Um, because for one, when you do live videos, and we, we go in and we look at all the comments, and we answer all the comments, and if they're bad comments and stuff, we delete them. And that takes a lot of time. I spend about three hours a day going through her comments. So when you do the live videos, anytime you make any kind of mistake, any kind of, you know, something that's controversial or whatever, um, people just go crazy. And it's a real pain in the tail to go back and kind of police all that. And so uh, we, you know, we like doing the live ones because you don't have to edit them. Uh, but then there's also a big audience out there for the videos that are not live. People like them both, and you can't, you know, you got some people that just like the live, and you got some people that hate the live. And so we try to do both, um, you know, to keep the channel growing and stuff like that. And and we like to do, we like to edit, you know, we like to add the music, we like to do all that kind of stuff. She really enjoys doing all that and it keeps her busy during the day and all that. So um, that's why we don't do as many lives. We still do them, and we really probably should do at least one every couple of weeks, once at one, one a month at least. Uh, but that's, you know, not everybody likes to live, but a lot of people do. So, like I said, we try to keep a balance between the two of them. That's a good question. Uh, interview people going by. Uh, I might get arrested if I try, <laughs> if I try to talk to them. They might say, hey, this weird old man is sitting out there in a chair in the parking lot. It's making me feel uncomfortable. So uh, I probably won't be doing that. If they talk to me, I'll I'll talk back to them. But uh, anyway, but in, getting back to uh, to her videos, it is, it's, if, you know, a lot of y'all don't realize how much time we spend doing that every day. That's an all-day job, every day, you know, taking care of her channel and keeping the videos on there um, trying to produce you know a number that we feel like we need to make uh, every once in a while we'll get to the you know oh, still out she's trying to call me but every once in a while we'll get the idea of we just need to put out one a week you know or something and um but we never we always get these ideas we're going to do stuff like that and then we always end up you know oh let's oh i got i got an idea for a video you know and then we do them and she likes to make them and we enjoy making them. Plus, we eat. You know, we, we're people that eat, so we cook when we eat the food, to, you know, so that keeps us kind of up there busy. Yeah, YouTube is a lot of work. It's a lot more than what you think if you're, you know, if that's what you do. You know, there's a lot of people. Hey, I'm still here. Anyway, I need to end this video because she's calling me. I'm going to have to kind of take a chance. And leave this chair sitting out in this parking lot and go in there and do something to help her apparently so this is a big gamble a very big gamble I wonder if I set it up under the I might slide it up under the uh, car here where nobody sees it um, yeah my chair will probably be gone when I come back <sighs> very nervous about this but I'm gonna go for it I'm going to go find out what it is she needs because I'm going to help her. We're going to help her. Let's go help Tammy. Thanks for watching. It was Retirement Empire. See y'all later. Thanks for watching my first live.